guys, I'm here to do my February favorite for you. I have a bunch of um, beauty products to show you guys and one random thing to show you. I have it all laid out in front of me, so I'm just going to get started because I have a lot. So the first thing I will show you is my Clean and Clear Morning Burst Skin Brightening Facial Scrub. And I just like to use this um, every, like, Tuesday, I think it is. And I just like to put it around my mouth. Um, grr, this piece of hair is driving me crazy. Um, I just like to put this like a, kind of like around my mouth and um, on my forehead because that's where I get um, like dry spots. So I just put that on on Tuesdays. And then I use the Olay like little scrubby thing. It's new in a drugstore. And it just has like little bristles if you can see. They're like kind of, um, I guess like you call them silicone kind of. And it's really nice on your skin. You just wet it and then um, put on like your facial like scrub or like face wash and then just um, scrub like your face. And it makes my face feel so, so amazing after. Like my skin feels so soft. And I'll, I'll use this probably at night uh, most of the time and I'll use these two together if my skin is feeling extra dry and is not oily like it usually is. But I like using these two together. Um, definitely my f this is definitely my go-to um, like face like product ever. I'm glad I tried it out. I'm glad I found it at Walmart. And it's Biolay. I don't think I mentioned that. Um, next is another face product, and it is the Smashbox Photo Ready BB Cream. I still have it in the box because I got a um, sample at Sephora, so I wanted to just buy this just in case so I don't have to make another trip over. And I got it in the shade Light, but I think it's still a little dark for my skin. I think it's, uh, and it's only the second lightest shade, so I think it's kind of weird. But I really, really like this. It gives a lot of, co it gives like a decent amount of coverage compared to like the Maybelline BB cream. And I like to use it um, with just like concealer and I sometimes put powder over it, which I'll show you guys next. But I absolutely love it. Um, definitely my go-to BB cream and I don't really like using foundations very often. So BB creams, um, definitely my go-to thing. And this one has been my favorite for the month of February. Um, so next one is the MAC Studio Fix, um, powder foundation, and I'm in NW20, and it just looks like this. I absolutely love it. I use this with concealer with the Maybelline, um, Dark Circles concealer, I think that's what it's called, and I'll just use them by, it's like, together by itself without, like, a foundation or a BB cream. And it is actually pretty pretty good for coverage. Like, I don't have acne anymore, so using the this powder is actually pretty good. Like, I don't, I don't need a lot of coverage, so this gives a decent amount of coverage that I actually kind of like, I guess. Definitely go and pick this up if you are looking for a powder that gives um, pretty good coverage and if you don't like wearing foundation. Next is the Benefit Professional Balm, and yes, I am still using the super, super small sample size that I got. Um, I am not ready to splurge $36 on the bigger tube, so I've been sparingly using this with my Laura Mercier um, primer, so I've been really liking this. Definitely minimizes my pores a lot. Um, I also like using it when my face is usually pretty oily because it does take down the oil a little bit which is amazing oh! which is amazing so I love this for February and I'll probably love it until it runs out and I am probably gonna splurge on the bigger tube not quite sure yet we'll see next I have a favorite lip product and this is the Maybelline color whisper in I think it's called petal oh no one size fits pearl and it's just a really nice pink as you can see here and I'll show you a little swatch of it it's actually pretty sheer it has like a nice like sheer pink Let's see. it has a nice sheer pink to it it's right there I don't know if you can see it but I actually really like it I'm wearing it on my lips today um, I've been kind of wanting to get into lip products 
I, like more than just lip balms so I figured why not try this out and I actually really really like it um, definitely a surprise it's very moisturizing and the the smell to it isn't that bad like it's actually kind of like a candy kind of smell so I actually like it and I also have I think it's one size fits pearl wow that's this one it's like I think the other one's pedal to the metal or something like that and it's also a nice sheer pink so I'd rather use this than a bold um, lip color like lipstick lip balm just because I'm just starting out with those kind of things and I didn't want to like step out of my comfort zone too much so that I've been wearing to school um, to work or even just around the house just because it gives a lot of moisture to my lips next is my favorite mascara I'm sure everyone and their mother has heard about this mascara and it's the Maybelline rocket mascara and this is in blackest black and I'll just show you the wand it is absolutely amazing I love this mascara by itself or with another mascara I use it with the L'Oreal one usually and I used it in my Valentine's Day makeup tutorial which I'll link down below absolutely love this mascara the best separates your lashes gives them a lot of volume um, even when you don't want to curl your lashes, it is a little bit of a wet formula. If you don't like wet formulas, um, I suggest that you probably go for the Maybelline one by one mascara. But the Rocket mascara is amazing. I um, absolutely love Maybelline mascaras in general. So definitely go and pick this up if you're looking for a new mascara or if you haven't tried it yet. And I forgot to add this in, but it is the Olay. Um, body wash silk whimsy um, with rose extract ex with rose extract and almond oil oh my god I'm so clumsy and it smells amazing like it just smells like spring and summer and I'm I kind of figured out that I, I think I might be allergic to the Bath and Body Works um, body washes so because it was giving me a big rash like right here on my chest so I wanted to try something new and this leaves my skin so soft and it smells so good like I can smell it throughout the day and absolutely love it so if you haven't tried it yet go pick it up I love it like, it smells so good like I didn't know that rose and almond oil could smell like this but it smells good um next is my favorite nail polish and I'm actually wearing it on my nails today and it is by Essie and it's Butler Please so that's the color and that's what it looks like on my nails excuse if they look kind of chipped but I love this color I think it was part of the winter collection or something like that but I love it it's a great blue um, definitely my go-to color for like the past two months and I um, haven't really found like a royal blue that I like this much I have seen um, one by Sally Hansen I think it's called cobalt blue or something like that but I don't think it matches to the Essie nail polish as much as I wanted to. I want, wanted to find a cheaper version of it, but I couldn't, so I just went for the Butler Please nail polish. If you haven't seen it yet, it could be on Amazon. Um, it might be on, it might be in Target or Walmart. Um, I haven't seen it lately, so because I got it during Christmas. But definitely, if you can find it, go pick it up. I love this nail color. It is absolutely amazing. Matches with anything. And in the summer, it would look great with a tan. Next is my favorite top coat, and it's the Pro FX Quick Dry High Gloss Top Coat. And this literally takes like a minute to dry your nails, and it makes them so glossy, and it feels like, like a gel nail kind of. I absolutely love it, and it makes your nails, like they don't chip for a really long time. So I love this. I think it was like five bucks for this big like container and it's 75 milliliters or 2.5 fluid ounces and I love this. It's so amazing. I'm glad I found it. It was only five bucks and it is huge compared to like my Revlon one that I have and my Revlon one doesn't even make my nail polish last too long and this one makes me feel like I have gel nails on. So I really love this. If you can find this in, I think I... I got it at Walmart. If you can find it at Walmart, definitely go and try it out. Love this. So last but not least of my beauty products are, um, is this makeup brush holder that I got for my birthday. And it is from my friend um, Amanda. 
who is basically like my second sister. She's amazing. I love her and I love her mom too, Darlene. And I just got this for my birthday and she made it herself. Like I couldn't believe it and it has um, zebra print which is uh, duct tape and then she put um, little like gems here as well and I believe that it's um, a candle like it was a candle jar I think that's what she said it was I love this and I need something to hold my brushes so I was definitely happy that I got this for my birthday which was on the 26th so I'm 19 now but I love this best present ever <laughs> and lastly last but not least is my favorite snack and it is the Quaker Crispy Minis in Cheddar. I also like the Spicy Thai ones. These are the key to my stomach, my heart. I love these. They're so good. Um, they are 90 calories for 12 of the little rice chips. And I'll show you what they look like if you haven't seen them before. But that's what they look like. They are delicious. Mm, they're so good. I love these. I could live off them. Like, literally, I eat a bag in, like, one sitting when I'm watching TV. I know that's kind of bad, but I love them. Um, so, I, I think I got them. You can get them at Walmart. You can probably get them at Target. Um, you might be able to get them in, a, um, in like, Rite Aid or something in, like, the snack section. Um, you can definitely get them at the grocery store. But if you haven't tried them, definitely try them. They are so good and, like, not a lot of calories at all. So they're definitely, like, kind of, like, a healthier option if you um, want something that tastes really, really good. So I hope you guys enjoyed my February favorites. I will be uploading a few new videos for you guys. Um, March is definitely when I'm going to try to upload more. Um, usually I'll be uploading on Fridays because that's when I have my most, like, most of my free time. So I hope to catch you guys later and I'll see ya. Bye. Jesus Christ. We're okay. We're okay. And now it's really, really dark.